No. The pyramid has awoken. I know not of this pyramid. Tell me. The Dragon Lord's dark citadel across the ocean. Now that he has the sword, he'll be able to take the soul energy of every living thing in the Wonderlands. Without the Queen, our fates are sealed. Hey, ask him if we're still getting knighted. Fret, we're in mourning. Uh, you are in mourning. I'm getting that sir in front of my name. This might be uncouth, but am I still getting knighted? Only our Queen had the power to bestow a knighthood. But you do deserve an honor for what you've done, and what must come next. Kneel, Fate Maker. Or just crouch if your knees hurt. <clears throat> As Regent Defender of Brighthoof, I name thee Squire of the Realm. Squire? Man, that's some dragon dookie. I know it's not much, but it'll have to do. For your new quest is none other than to save the Wonderlands itself. Journey to the Pyramid, take back the Sword of Souls, and avenge our Queen. You'll need a vessel. Speak with the Dockmaster. Whatever resources we have are at your command, Fate Maker. Keep thinking I'll hear the Queen's hooves pop. Ha! Ahoy to you, Squire of the Realm! Greetings! We must commandeer a ship, if there are any left intact. Let us begin construction post haste. Come and craft your new vessel here at the dock. have never seen such a beauty of the seas. She's a wreck. Nonsense. I dub her the good ship Balsanya. Wait. Before you cast off, you must get the ship blessed by a bard, or you'll be pulled down to a watery grave by Drill, whose chains are the sea. What? But we're so close to taking off. I don't want to deal with sea curses. That's just how it works, man. Gotta follow the rules or get cursed drowned. Unfortunately, our resident bard disappeared in the invasion. It is saddest of all when a bard dies. For who is left to sing their song? What? No, he fell in love with a skeleton and they eloped. There is one other man who can bless your ship, though he is only a half bard. Still, he may now be your only hope for crossing the ocean. I last saw the half bard heading into the Weep Wild Dankness. He uh. returned from those woods. Find him, if he yet still lives. Ooh, the Weep Wild. Sounds dangerous. In a good way. Yeah. It's a big old magical forest to the Sorth of Brighthoof. Uh, sorry. Did you say Sorth? Yeah, you know, fantasy directions. Nerf, Sorth, Inks, and Wibbles. Did you read any of the badass tone? I looked at the pictures. There was sword guy and big knife guy. Wait, are those the same guy? No, 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 wait. Don't spoil it. Maybe he stabbed himself? Mysteries like these course in rivers throughout the universe. Any hoozle, once the shrine is complete, you get the reward all to yourself.
there's an infestation in my yard. I'm rich, you're desperate. Kill them and I shall pay you. I act not of desperation, but for heroism. Just clear out the field and I'll toss some money your way. Goblins! Ugh. I not take the teeth of my fallen enemy. What? Oh, what? I mean, I I guess I'll throw them away for you. Uh, here's some money. I guess. Just don't come back. You are a filthy weirdo. No, they're dead. Uh, my plans are ruined. Your goblins? What blasphemy is this? I attracted those goblins on purpose. You see, I'm in love with the alchemist. My plan was to swoop in, defeat all the goblins, and save her herb garden. Now how am I supposed to catch her fancy? Simply tell her how you feel. Unhelpful. Look, just give her these flowers, would you? Thanks. With any luck, wedding bells will be ringing by sundown. I've got a present for you. You do? Give it here. I want it. Flowers? From whom? A message of love from the farmer. <laughs> As if I could be seen knocking boots with that poor thing. Perhaps when pigs fly, or water flows backwards, or a polka-dotted poetry-reading goblin recites a love poem for me. Good day. polka-dotted poet goblin? You know, I could do that, actually. First, we'll need to attract another goblin. Find me the most pungent gobo loincloth you can smell! I believe you've misunderstood her words, milady. No quarter! 
day this Lord orders me to tell him about my peasant life. Well, my lord, I says, I rise before the dawn and toil endlessly in the oppressive sun. After day's done, I stumble to the scum and chum, blistered and burnt, for a pint of soda and stale bread. Then off to bed to do it all over again. Granted, it's not as glamorous a life as a lord, but at least I'm my own master. Wait, oh my god. Boy, my peasant brothers and sisters! I've just come to the terrible realization that our lives are crap! Down with the lords, I say! Rebellion! to return. Attract a goblin. Release the musk showers! It worked! It worked! <laughs> what a specimen! Gornish! A goblin female. Pretty name. Gornish. Now for the polka dots. There are some dyes in the old laboratory. Oh, and just to forewarn you, the old laboratory is positively chock-a-block with traps. Y'all want to be careful. What am I even <coughs> doing here? I smell something so deliciously rare. <coughs> Over evil. Or was it lawful over chaos?
I've lost my marbles. Would you like to find them? I was a hero like you once. At least, I think. up to the task? from you my heart will hurt <laughs> what no come on that oh jeez you're silly oh my gosh oh right uh go get elma would you now what were you saying what now too. Not poor. As requested, we present a polka dotted goblin poet. What? Oh, really? This I have to see. I'm not 
wanted to harvest grain. This farmer's eyes drove me insane. She works the land, tills the soil. A glance from her makes my blood boil. I'll be damned. She did it. That's actually impressive. Hey, uh, how do you do this? It must have taken, well, more smarts than I would have given a poor credit for. Maybe you could tell me over drinks? <laughs> Go brew yourself a love potion and buy yourself your own goblin. <laughs> what? How dare you? Do you know who I... What I... Oh. <laughs> My lord, can I bend your ear a moment? here sees into my soul. We were meant for one another. And it's all thanks to you, my lord. There's no greater gift than love. But perhaps this will ease your wondering heart all the same. My thanks. Have I been hexed? Perhaps a charm? My life I'd spend on her. science. I am in the scientific race of a lifetime. My brothers think they can perfect alchemy before me. <laughs> my aggressive experiment schedule has broken my cauldron. Go and mine lead from the mountain so that I can defeat my brothers. professionally hot. My fans should get the chance to look at me, so I need you to carve my likeness into some rocks. Ugh, I love the angle on this one. Disturbed, but perverted. No, it's not. Oh, one a bit. Hot dog, am I perturbed? Hope you were planning to cross this here tributary, hero. I was gonna fix this magical bridge. But some ne'er-do-wells have printed up my magical building recipes and run off to their dismal cave. Get them back for me, will ya?
My prince! I can't thank you enough, hero. I love these blueprints with all my heart. And I do mean romantically. No room for interpretation. I'm in a polycule with my blueprints. Now, to repair this here magical bridge, my loves. me look gorge in front of my fans so now you can look gorge in front of yours if you have any
a reel contains a shrine piece vibe from that dungeon over yonder. itself. Quickly now, bring that lead here. The more the dice, the better the loot! We shall see who is the true alchemist now, brothers. Your payment. I seek the truth between matter and myth. from the tyranny of Vorkinar. <laughs> Vorkinar. If that thing's a real dragon, then I'm a fractal flamed sky raptor. Oh there, adventurer! Have you come to join our righteous cause? We are the goblins tired of forced oppression! Freedom fighters, one and all! Though I am going to shut up, because I'm pretty sure I couldn't fight my way out of a wet paper bag. Yes, fighting for freedom! And for cash. 
Oh, there will be coin in it for you. But first, we must shatter the chains of oppression, fight for glorious goblin freedom, and rebuke the tyranny of Dragon God Volcanar. A dragon god, you say? Yeah, yeah, don't worry. I'm almost nearly mostly totally sure he's a false god. Now come along! It's time to free my goblin brothers and sisters! The brave few who clamored for freedom have been exiled from the mountain by Varkanar. He is a cruel master, demanding tribute from our enslaved people once a week. If he is displeased by the offering, his punishment is harsh. We must put a stop to it once and for all! And with your help, I might finally earn my GTF on nose ring! Uh, nose ring? It's a badge of honor representing full membership in the GTFO. <laughs> the leadership doubted my abilities, but we'll show them. For now, the entrance isn't far. No time for friends! Trance has been sealed. What are we gonna do? It's not working. Yeah. No good. Huh, impenetrable barrier. Well, I guess the goblins are screwed. Oh well, we tried. Come on, Valentine. We can figure this out. It's a puzzle of some kind. Bingo dingo, Fredalicious. But we've already shot at it, and hit it with heavy objects. I mean, that's all I've got. Do we detect any magic? And lo, the mysteries of the seemingly impenetrable barrier are revealed to you! What you gonna do? Follow the ley lines, obviously. I'll, uh, stay here and keep an eye on the barrier. Fear not. I shall complete the task. Oh! And don't worry about killing any goblins that are working for Varkinar. They're traitors to goblin kind. They deserve exactly what they get. You see before you a big, fancy schmancy magical machine do hickey dicky redux. That was powerful. <laughs> 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 Charged. 
come, friends, to battle and glory! That device seemed a bit beyond the tinkering capabilities of goblins. Oh, oh, that came out wrong. Well, that's just hurtful. <laughs> yes, they must be the work of the foul <laughs> troll oracles that serve foul Varkinar with their foul magics and create their foul <laughs> machines. Say no more. You had me at foul. Take it to Smash Town. Smash Town? No, I know. I heard it as soon as I said it. I know.
is ready! Come, let's 
Jar is ready to fight on her own. <clears throat> Little one, I have a gift for you. What? What is it? Oh my god, a weapon. Uh, look, I have some DTFO training, but I've never been in a real fight before. Ah, but I can see the courage you possess. You can do this. Okay, if you say so. But right now, it's time to claim the caverns for the glorious resistance. Raise the GTFO flag! Yeah! Okay, John. This is your big moment. Don't screw it up. One for Gab! Hear me, my son! The revolution is a chance! GTFO is an appealable bondage of the false god, Bokna! Join us! And together we will cast off the chains of oppression! Rude and chains of oppression! Freedom! Ready for the next phase of our operation? I did some recon earlier and spotted a bunch of political prisoners in the Lakeside Village. We gotta free them! It is. Are you ready? We need to free the GTFO prisoners. But be careful. The troll chandlers are tough as gobnails. I'll, uh, I'll join you in a sec. Uh, fight on, champion! To remember. Gotta make myself. Yeah, seems to oh, be <laughs> the prison goblin somewhere. So oh, it's the work, isn't it? Natural beauty, sunshine, fresh air. It makes me sick to think such a goblin is such a goblin. I'm gonna get my out here.
As always, good triumphs over evil. Or was it lawful over chaotic? Gleaming potential. Elden's parents were legendary heroes, wyvern tamers, giant slayers, favorites of the queen. He wants so much to be special like them, like me. When I said he already was, he scoffed. He wants so much to be extra when I'd be so happy with ordinary. Interested in some smithing work? Fair tidings, friend. I have the perfect job for someone like you. And by like you, I mean willing to do back-breaking dangerous labor for a pittance. Ah, labor tempers the spirit and enriches the body. Tell me this task. The blacksmith of this forge, Master Tunhammer, is off on a delivery, and he left me in charge of forging a bunch of magical gear while he's gone. Thing is, I kind of forged my forging resume. I don't know how to smith magic items worth a dang, but I do know it starts with mining magic ore. You grab that pick and bust your hump mining and defending yourself from wild animals, while I do the much harder task of preparing the forge. You're all set. Now head to the quarry out back. That magic ore isn't gonna mine itself. There's the quarry. Ah! It looks like Master Tunnelers locked it up. You can pick lots, right? Blossoming is not my usual purview, but I dare say I can manage. Nice picking, apprentice. Now put those skills to use on that ore. <clears throat>
I can cast again! Okay, Claptrap. Maybe you're just not cut out for accomplishing things. Ugh! It's this hammer! Master Tunhammer took the good hammer with him! And that magic ore is too strong for any ordinary tool to work! You try! Use the toughest tool you've got! Ah! I loosened it up for you! More importantly, I've done it! I've crafted the ultimate weapon! Wait. What the heck is this? Ah! Well, we tried honest labor, but now it's time to do what you do best. Take better gear from other people and pass it off as your own. Let's be real, we both knew it would come to this. I guess I was never made for a life of simple labor. Ah, well, adventure calls. Where to? To the mountain of despair! That's not its official name, but I am pretty desperate, so that's what I'm calling it. Also, bring the pick. No sense in letting good ore go to waste. If you find any while you're out there, bring it back here for some extra coin. The mountain is full of adventurers who got lost and kicked the bucket while carrying all sorts of magic loot. All you have to do is get the good stuff and bring it back here. Then I can pretend I made it and Master Tunhammer will... I've arrived at the mountain's base. Where to next? Charles ring of fire dancing let him walk on lava unharmed. But he was notoriously clumsy and fell face first into the river and burned to a crisp. All that remains is that ring. <laughs> Silly humans. When will they learn that one wheel meets two legs any day? That's twice as many things that can go wrong. No wonder you're always tripping all over the place.
Winter's Blade! people and taking their stuff is way faster and more exciting but it's a crafting quest <sighs> my sweet baby friends i pinky promised that next show we can narrate all the boring stuff you love and roll dice all you want but for now we're doing things my way with guns and loot and adventure and actually interesting stuff fine
Just keep these awesome magic items for ourselves? That doesn't sound very heroic at all. What are you talking about? We looted them fair and square. We just risked our lives out there. Hey, that rhymed. Yeah, but we agreed to a quest. A quest built on a foundation of lies? If you don't finish the quest, you don't get XP. Oh, but I'm so close to my super cool class feature. <gasps> then you know what you must do, Valentino. <sighs> Who knew being a hero was fraught with so much moral ambiguity? Chew on this! This world is not for you! Ship behind my back, have you? The Smithing Guild will have my head. Or one of our heads, anyway. Ah, uh, Master Sunhammer! It's not what it looks like! Uh, they were just helping me with little things! Uh, you know, I can't reach the tools on the top shelf! I did all the hard work! Right! Then let's see your hard work, shall we? With pleasure! A print! Yay! You there! Place my works on yon mannequin so Master Tunhammer can marvel at my craft. <laughs> you see, Master, I told you I could handle it. Take a look at these beauties. Oh, fine work, apprentice. 
apprentice, this is the work of a master. This master! In fact, I made these pieces myself! I'm gonna hammer you and your thieving friend into bloody bedpans! Next, we have to seize the means of production, then destroy them. That'll show Varknar we mean business. Come, come, this way! Just the de-escalation! Just keep it in your pants, okay, darling? You're gonna I mean. Village have been having a spot of trouble with our local evil wizard, Baldar the Ghastly. I know you can help. It will only be the work of a moment to blow his brain from his skull. Back in a flash. No! This village has seen enough violence for one lifetime. We want this solved peacefully. Just get him to leave us alone. Consider my weapon holstered. I am certain this will be simple. trying to not aggro this guy? <laughs> yeah, you are the bird. Don't worry, I'm sure this will be super duper easy since you're both uh, masters of finesse. Smoothest of the smooth. Oh, we can finesse. We're finescapable. Aw, yeah. you really do think that? And I want you to know, from me to you, it's really adorable.
your head. You have been judged and found wanting. My marbles is here. Smash it and release my memories. Evil wizard, I presume? <laughs> yes, I take pride in finding new and exciting ways to terrorize those infernal nerds in the village. And with this one-of-a-kind scroll, I shall unlock an ancient tomb housing a weapon more horrifying than you can imagine. Though slaying him would be wildly satisfying. I promise bench non-violence. I see only one other way forward. I would prefer not to injure you, but I will, unless you leave the village alone. Ha! Threaten me, will you? You think mere mortal weapons can defeat me? The evil wizard Baldur, a scourge of the village? How idiotic! You'll never catch- I've threatened you once. Do not make me do it again. No! Don't hurt me! I'm far more frail than I seem. I I'll leave the village alone, I swear. <laughs> I'll even leave you with this. It will unseal an ancient cave. And within, you will find... a weapon. I feel a great shift in the magical fabric of the universe! Did you solve our wizard problem? Ah, yes, we... Hashed things out using our words. As a thank you, he bequeathed me a scroll. It appears to open a cave holding a powerful weapon. Oh, Ugh. dear. A weapon, you say? Well, you're obviously more than capable of solving our problems without violence. Please get that weapon away from us before any more harm comes to our peaceful village. Man, what were we thinking trying to intimidate an eagle maniac like that? I don't know! I panicked! My only other thought was to try and kiss him! That was your only other thought? That kind of thinking is why we're not allowed on Heat On 6 anymore!
challenger. into that cave. No, and I don't care who sent you. It's too risky. We don't want any more violence. Oh, hiding something, fascist. Let's see what you got in there. If I stay my trigger finger, there may be more than one other way forward here. Finally, we can put this scroll to use. Reveal your weapon, cave! I shall now read from the scroll. Aperta dilatato for animis! It appears this is definitively not a seduction moment. Oh! 
Laid low by the light. Simultaneously. I have stood in this spot and guarded this cave for time immemorial. Except I personally remember it. But that could be considered more of a curse than a blessing. Imagine if you could remember every embarrassing thing you've ever said and done. But also you were older than the sun itself. It gets to you after a while. But regardless, you have invaded my ancient hole and no one is permitted to enter here. I guard a devious, unholy weapon, a relic of times long past, and only those worthy of using it can pass me. And no one is worthy, so no one passes me. Is that clear? I could perhaps be a bit more concise when I explain that part to people. It has been a very, very long time since I have had any visitors. It is possible the fascist goblins who have recently taken to guarding this place are quite good at their jobs. But it is unimportant. What is important is the fact that you have somehow invaded my deep, cavernous crevasse, and you cannot be allowed to leave. For no one shall be permitted to take my secrets out into the world. The world is not ready for a weapon of this caliber. My sole purpose in this world is to protect this weapon from those who would have the hubris, the audacity, to think they can wield it responsibly. I have seen more errors than you can imagine, epochs even, and no one has ever managed to convince me that this weapon should be released from my grasp. That means I have killed a lot of people. So many people. Oh, what have I done? No, it's fine. I'm fine. It's fine. And I will not hesitate to add you to that list of dead. It's a very long list. I can read it to you should you require before combat. Though the most ancient of names are quite difficult to pronounce, given that those alphabets no longer functionally exist. I can, however, give it my best shot. <clears throat> Ixpranix the Fourth. B the Brave. Lorkin the Lionhearted. Holy gob almighty, is this dude really still talking? Hey, excuse me! I worked really hard on this speech, so shut up and listen! Flirk snacks Bandaquad. Hall. Oh well, that is probably enough names. You get the point. I am a stone cold murderer, and I will do anything to protect this weapon. It is the only reason I exist. If I do not protect it, why do I exist at all? What am I? Would I dissolve into the ether? Would I turn to mist? Would I simply cease to exist? We will never know, because I will be responsible and carry out my purpose until the end of time. You, trespasser, have violated the sacred goblin sanctuary. And if I can go on, you're allowing me to go on? Okay, I'm going to go on. And if I can go on, I would just like to inform you that you have come all this way for naught, and you will not be permitted to fight me for my weapon and... and... Uh, 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 
<sighs> Anyways, I am incredibly tired. This has absolutely wiped me out. And if you're not going to do anything hostile, then I'm going back to bed for the next century and a half. Until some other idiot arrives. Good night. Also, thank you for listening. It means a lot to me to feel heard. I suppose this would be the time for me to quickly loot and be on my way. The weapon is in your hands. Now go on, skeet out of line of this dusty pit. You know, I think we did all right, non-violence-wise. Yeah, totally. But I did learn something. And that something is this. Violence really is the answer to most things. Most of the time. Hard to argue with that. Crazy! Fighting. Fascinating. So, have you retrieved the weapon? We can live our peaceful lives without fear? It has been handled and without violence. For the most part. What a relief! For your wonderful gobletarian efforts, you may keep that wretched weapon. Thank you, adventurer. Here we are. Now, the means of production are also the engines of oppression. So go bust them up! I'm gonna go secure our route by dropping the bridge. We'll meet up there.
time for a spell! We're gonna have to fight this Vorkinar thing at the end of this, aren't we? Yep, probably. You afraid of fighting a dragon, Valentine? What? No, it's just a stupid game anyway. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stupid game? I'm gonna need you to go ahead and take that back, Valley. Right now. Okay, okay, take it back, all right? It's the best game ever, of all time! Uh, no, you gotta do it's a very enjoyable game. Fun. Hey, there you go. devilish puzzle of genius design tempts you from nearby. Think you got the moves to win its prize? Was it lawful over the Let the magic begin!
I feel magical. No time for friends. Biologist, but I'm pretty sure dragons don't have tailpipes. They don't? Huh? Well, further proof that Valkanar is a false god, huh? Just a little bit more tweaking. And there! Now we have to split up again. I need you to track down some demolition goblins that work for Vorkanar. Steal the plastics they use to open up new mining tunnels. We'll need them for the fight against Vorkanar. While you do that, I'm gonna track down the lair of Ice King Frisicles, who dwells under the mountain. We'll need the power of his icy heart to quench the fires of the Great Oven. <clears throat> The Great Oven is where the trolls smelt the ore mined by the enslaved goblins. If you can take it out, we'll disrupt their primary source of revenue and weaponry.
Hold fast. Strike through. <clears throat> Enough to earn me that nose wing, nothing well. That'll show that jug gut went to the real revolutionary end. Gut wrench. Charming. Oh, he's the worst. He's this super pretentious guy who's always going off about politics, but never lifts a finger about any of it.
I sense evil aboard. should come in handy. With the heart of Streezacles, I'll find you when the time comes. Time for a spell!
This great oven shall burn no more. Why does that feel ominous? Champion, the gathering bell rings! You must make haste toward the tribute of Rita, and we will prepare for the coming of Orgonar. I'll meet you along the way. Be on your guard for the Oracle. I'm nearly there. My conscience is clean. Isn't it?
never killed anything before. I, I, I hated it. Even though it's for a righteous cause, I just... I can't do that ever again. I'm sorry, but <laughs> you'll have to fight Varkinar on your own, champion. The Tribute Arena is just up ahead. Follow me. Whatever this Varkinar turns out to be, I look forward to slaying. Nose ring yet, champion? Hmm. Give me a moment. This should serve. Your valor is to be commended. But I fear all I have to give you is this nose ring. Here. What? Really? This would be a truly mighty nose ring, but. 
None of this would have been possible without you. I think you deserve this more than me. On behalf of Goblin Kind, I must thank you, Champion. We will forever be in your debt. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must inform the GTFO leadership of our victory. There is much to do. Ancient obelisk juts from the ground nearby. Touch it not, my sweet, lest ye summon a terrifying creature of dread power. This obelisk will summon a nasty little pigo goblin.
shall terrorize the countryside no more! <laughs> <laughs>